Which of the following is the first line treatment in a child with absence seizures? A. Phenytoin B. Valproic acid C. Ethosuximide D. Carbamazepine Correct answer C. Ethosuximide Absence seizures are brief episodes of staring and unresponsiveness. Ethosuximide is the drug of choice for typical absence seizures. It is well tolerated and effective in most cases. A child with a history of recurrent fractures, blue sclera and hearing loss likely has A. Rickets B. Osteogenesis imperfecta C. Hypophosphatemia D. Scurvy Correct answer B. Osteogenesis imperfecta Osteogenesis imperfecta is a genetic disorder affecting collagen. This condition causes brittle bones blue tinted sclera and sometimes hearing problems. The condition varies in severity and requires supportive care. Which of the following is a major Jones criterion for diagnosing rheumatic fever? A. Arthralgia B. Fever C. Erythma marginatum D. Elevated ESR Correct answer C. Erythma marginatum The Jones criteria help in diagnosing rheumatic fever. Erythma marginatum, a non-itchy rash with a wavy border is a major criterion. Arthralgia, fever and elevated ESR comes under minor Jones criteria. A child presents with repeated infections, low IgG levels and absent tonsils. What is the likely diagnosis? A. Common variable immunodeficiency B. Bruton's Agama globulinemia C. Selective IgA deficiency D. SCID Correct answer B. Bruton's Agama globulinemia Bruton's Agama globulinemia is an X-linked disorder affecting boys. Due to absence of mature B cells, they have low immunoglobulin levels and no visible tonsils or lymph nodes. Infections begin after maternal antibodies wear off. A child with precocious puberty, cafe ole spots and fibrous dysplasia likely has A. McCune Albright syndrome B. Turner syndrome C. Kleinfelter syndrome D. Noonan syndrome Correct answer A. McCune Albright syndrome McCune Albright syndrome is characterized by the triad of cafe ole spots, early puberty and bone lesions. This syndrome is due to GNAS gene mutation. A neonate with delayed umbilical cord separation and recurrent skin infections may have A. Leukocyte adhesion deficiency B. Chronic granulomatous disease C. SCID D. Chediac Higashi Syndrome Correct answer A. Leukocyte Adhesion Deficiency Leukocyte Adhesion Deficiency LAD is a rare immune system disorder where WBCs can't stick to blood vessel walls to fight infections. Normally, WBCs roll, stick and squeeze out of vessels to attack germs. In LAD, they lack glue proteins like integrins needed for this process. As a result, infections of skin, gums, lungs keep coming back, heal slowly and don't show pus. Babies with LAD often have delayed umbilical cord falling off. It's caused by genetic mutations and diagnosed with blood tests, that is low CD18 and CD11 proteins. Treatment includes antibiotics, stem cell transplants or gene therapy. Early action saves lives.
क्लासिक फीचर ऑफ कवाजा की डिजीज इंक्लूड्स ऑल एक्सेप्ट ए स्ट्रॉबेरी टंग बी कंजेक्टिवाइटिस सी डी स्क्वामेटिंग रैश डी वेसिकुलर रैश करेक्ट आंसर डी वेसिकुलर रैश कवाजा की डिजीज प्रेजेंस विद फीवर रैश कंजेक्टिवाइटिस एंड रेड टंग वेसिकल्स आर नॉट ए फीचर रिस्क ऑफ कोरोनरी आर्टरी एन्यूरिज्म इज सीरियस A child with albinism, recurrent infections, and giant granules in neutrophils likely has a cardiac Higashi syndrome, b Grieschelli syndrome, c Hermansky-Pudlik syndrome, d SCID. Correct answer: a cardiac Higashi syndrome. A child with albinism, recurrent infections, and giant granules in neutrophils likely has cardiac Higashi syndrome. This rare genetic disorder disrupts how cells package and transport materials, causing partial albinism, light skin, hair, frequent infections, and abnormal granules in white blood cells. The giant granules in neutrophils impair their ability to fight bacteria, leading to recurring illnesses. Early treatment is important. A stem cell transplant can help before the disease worsens. Without treatment, it can progress to a dangerous phase with high fever and organ damage. What is the classic rash distribution in measles? A starts on limbs and moves to trunk. B starts on face and spreads down C starts on trunk and moves to face D only on extremities correct answer B starts on face and spreads down the measles rash usually begins behind the ears and along the hairline before spreading downward the rash is caused by the immune system attacking virus infected cells in the skin The downward spread of the rash follows the pattern of the virus moving through the blood stream. The face develops the rash first because it has rich blood supply of blood vessels. Which condition presents with continuous machinery murmur in the infraclavicular area? A ASD B VSD C PDA D coarctation of aorta correct answer drop your answers in the comment section below For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel I have given the link in the description below If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button Thanks for watching